vlog what up check in time so last week right we were supposed to do this whole paternity thing yeah wasn't that successful wait hold on let me try to put the baby down hold up but yeah it wasn't that successful um i tried friday was probably the best i could do um but we most definitely did some work and then on top of that right um business number two finna take off so like have y'all ever heard or seen somebody with a whole newborn baby about to start a whole nother like we started business too but like now it's finna take off like for real for real so like have meetings on friday but y'all know for me meetings don't really feel like work but um man it's not even that the newborn is hard, per se. It's more so, like, it's just sleep. Like, and I didn't, like, sleep a ton to start with. You know what I'm saying? But, like, it's one thing. Oh, I stayed up to two and fell asleep. It's another thing. I stayed up to two to help with the baby and then got up again at five and then again at eight. And then, like, it's all crazy. And then on top of that, bro, you you still got to do your normal. Like, the, the girl still got to eat. You still got to pray. You know what I'm saying? You can't just start the day off doing stuff. So, it's real out here. But I just thank God because there was a point in time where... I need to change my little background screen. There was a point in time where, you know, I prayed for this. So, uh, I guess I can tell y'all what we got going on today. So today, we're in the first week of May. I think today's May the, uh, May the 3rd. I was going to say it's the 2nd. But, um, of course, at the beginning of the month, we got month in close. So doing that, catching up on clients, um, getting stuff saved getting all of that on track um today we're doing another beta for that second business just to kind of do like a last fine tune before we go live with that um in about maybe a month or so um and i anticipate this one's gonna go pretty fast so we got that like i said you got regular month in then we're almost done working on these packages. I've been working on, I keep telling y'all about like the revamp. So, um, been working on that. So that way we can offer premium services to clients versus just doing the basics. We, we offer more, but I just learned I don't want to offer the basics no more. Like let's do stuff with a spirit of excellence and let's do it at a a greater level of greatness, you know what I'm saying? So we got that coming down the pipeline. Um, and I think it's time to hire person number number two. So, oh, and I also want to say health insurance is trash. I'm so sick of it. It should not be this complicated to be a business owner and get health insurance. So I just want to throw that out there. It's trash. It should be easy. So... But anywho, let me get on these meetings. Let me get on this work so we can keep things on track. I also do not know what I'm going to eat for um, nothing. So there's that too. But hey, who cares, right? Because we're happy and we're thankful. Well, um, as you can see, somebody just had their first meeting today. Um, <clears throat> you know, they try to do a little talking and, you know, I don't know why, cause you know, they're not ready for that. We just wanted them to sit in on the meeting. Um, but he was there, um, you know, he just sat there and observed, um, you know, he made his presence known when he came into the meeting, but other than that, you know, he was chilling and obviously it was very draining because, you know, he's done. So, you know. It's all good, but yes, it was his first meeting today, and you know what I'm learning? Like, I get more life 
When I see other people like, can you hold on? My son is calling, or I need to go help with the kids, or I got to go give them some food. Because, you know, we have really done it differently during the pandemic. You know, everybody kind of working from home more. So don't, don't be ashamed if your kids is crying during the business meeting. Don't be ashamed if they want to come up and sneak in the camera during the video to try to... No. <laughs> it's okay. Just hit pause, say, hold on one second, please, and deal with your children. Um, but yes, he did great on his first meeting. You know, he just sat there. I told him to give me 13 minutes. We actually went over, so he gave me more than that. So, you know, he gets an A+. Plus, so, I'm very impressed. He, he may have a future um, in Kinley Accounting and CCK. On the future. Well, you know, he a little tired. I guess it was, it was, son, we do more than that. We still got work to do. You know what I'm saying? We got more work to do, buddy. It can't be sweet. But yeah, that's it. Um, now we have, what's today? Wednesday. So we got our check-in weekly call with our marketing guy in like two hours. Um, there's another call I sometimes do after that on like ads and copy. Um, we're a month in close. So we're trying to do that for clients, getting bank statements, tying out bank regs, getting accounting cleaned up, setting up meetings. We're onboarding some new clients. We're pretty much done with the revamp of the firm and the packages that we're gonna offer. Uh, we're done with business number two, uh, kind of. Let me not say we're done. We are revamp, let me not say revamping. We're finalizing the beta stages so that we can launch and go live with that. So, you know, we got a lot of good stuff coming down the pipeline. It's real. Um, try to do it while you're sleepy, you know. Because Jukka, he sleep. See, I can't be sleep. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to be like that. Yeah, how I want to be. But I don't get to be like that, so. I'm not going to be salty, though. Because, you know, God is merciful. So I want to exhibit his characteristic. Because, see, if I could be like this. You and I both. Man, but, you know, it's okay. Because in due season, God going to return it back to me. <laughs> it's going to be a season where he going to sleep through the night. And I'm going to just. But, anywho, I'm done. You can cut the camera now. All right, vlog. Another day in the life right now. We are on the way to the Goodwill to drop off some old toys. Or not old, they're not really old. Um, but you know, this is a principle that you know we try to live by, which is, you know, over time you can accumulate things and you get so many things. But at some point, you know, in order to make room for new things or better things, you have to you have to make room for them so you got to give something away so the girls have so many toys now to the point where their room their playroom is full of toys so we're gonna go to goodwill and we're gonna give away some of these toys because we want to make sure that we make room in case we get new toys of course some of these toys are things that they got when they were younger um, but they, of course, you know, kids, they always want new toys or new things or something new comes out. So we have to be willing to make room for the new things that, you know, God want to bless us with. Um, and the same things in business, right? Sometimes we have to be willing to let clients go in order to make room for bigger clients. Um, whether that's firing clients sometimes or sometimes just through normal life transition, maybe it's cash flow issues or they're not making enough money or they're leaving or they're sick. So uh, that's that's a life principle that of course, you know, I would love to teach my girls. And that's why we're on the way right now to the Goodwill. I'm happy we're giving some toys away. Oh, really? So when I first told you, you was not happy, sis. I'm happy. And that was the other thing. I told them they can't get any new toys until we give something away. So Dad. now all of a sudden people are just so, you know. Daddy, don't say that. Don't say what? Don't say what you just said. Why I can't say it? That's the truth. You don't want me to tell the truth? I want you 
to tell what we had. I got to tell the truth. We just gave away some of the dolls. Or some of them are in our trunk. And to give away some of my shoes. Yes. Indeed. Please hold. Alright ladies. I'm stuck on this way of my seat. There we go. Okay, let's sit back, get our seatbelt on. Alright, what did you learn about giving stuff away to the goodwill? I learned a good lesson. What you learned? Tell me. That we have to give some toys away to make room for some new toys. That's correct. Because if we don't give some away, we're gonna also we might make a bigger mess. Mm-hmm. Which means you gotta clean up what? Everything that was on the ground. Exactly. Not just a little bit, everything. That's right. Callie, what did you learn? Hello, Callie. I learned that we have to make some room for some new toys. In order to get some new toys, like if we get some for Christmas, mm -hmm. we need to get some more. I feel like we should have gave a bunch more dolls in this See, now you get it. Because if you do some more dolls, then now you got space when people want to give you some new toys. Yes, like we have some more space. Like, and we don't have a bunch of dolls now. We gave up. We only have one Anna. No, no other people, just one Anna. Okay, good job. Why your faith so fragile, man? Let me talk to y'all. 